One of the best things about Berlin is the brand new state-of-the-art airport from where a train will speed you directly into the heart of the city. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Back in 1990, Berlin had three airports. Tempelhof, which was too small for anything larger than a hang glider. Tegel, which was only ever half built and also not terribly big. And Schönefeld, the airport for East Berlin, uh, which wasn't up to the West's exacting standards. Something had to be done. And so it was. A plan was devised. First, they would close down Tempelhof Airport, which was too small for anything larger than a hang glider. And then they would tear down Schönefeld Airport, which was not up to the West's high standards, and in its place build something that was. And then they would close Tegel Airport. It took 10 years to get all the legal challenges sorted out, but building eventually got underway in 2006. The airport would cost 2.8 billion euros and it would be ready by October 2011 and to make sure that nothing could possibly go wrong the supervisory board was staffed mostly by politicians. The chair would be held by Klaus Wolverite, the mayor of Berlin himself. In 2007 they found a bureaucratic mistake which meant that the design of the terminal building had to be put out to tender again but that was just a minor hiccup and work continued. In June 2010 came the news that the airport would not after all be ready by October 2011. A new date was set, the 3rd of June 2012. It was planned that just before the actual opening itself there would be a huge grand opening ceremony. The date was set for the 28th of May 2012. There would be fun, food, guests, fun, speeches, food, 40,000 guests. Just three weeks before the big party, some inspectors came to make sure that the airport conformed to fire safety standards. They took one look and said, uh-uh. So everybody sprang into action to remedy the situation and they did this by firing the entire planning committee. Meanwhile, Klaus Wolverheit held on to his post as chair of the supervisory board and was blaming everything and everybody except the supervisory board. However, the airport would open in summer 2013. Uh, sorry, uh, breaking news, October 2013. By this time, tempers were fraying. The airport would cost not 2.8 billion, but 4.5 billion euros. It was massively overdue. Air Berlin sued for tens of millions of euros. The champagne went flat. Things were getting critical. Then came Christmas 2012. Just after Christmas, it was announced that the opening would once more be delayed. Just after New Year's, when everybody was sobering up, the news came that, well, it would certainly not be open in 2013. It was announced that the airport would absolutely, truly, definitely, for real this time, promise absolutely, it would be ready sometime in 2014. Mr. Wolverheit has resigned as chairman of the supervisory board but is refusing to resign as mayor. Meanwhile, his successor in the chair of the supervisory board has been named as Matthias Platzek, Minister President for the state of Brandenburg. Oh, and now some experts are saying that it's quite possible the airport will have to be completely torn down and rebuilt from scratch. <laughs>